Um, first of all, I um, set this about where I where I want it to cut. Here's my cutting fixture like this, and um, it sits flat on the table with a little a little stop here to to uh, catch the bottom of it, and I set this cutting head so it's right right uh, perfectly vertical to the to the bottle, sort of like so. Now, put it down here, set this down, and I'm going to turn this, and you can, you can maybe hear the little sound of the glass cutter uh, against the glass. Hear it? I try to keep it moving all the time. Until it hit itself. Then I know it's a complete cut. There. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is take my candle flame. You can use it, any kind of flame. Candle is nice. It's not such a hot flame. And I just sit here and rotate the bottle slowly and over that little edge. Now, the important thing is not to get it so close to the fire so it makes the glass real uh, dark. Best just keep it so it's, you don't smudge the glass. Go around a few times. Some parts of the glass are thicker than others, and you can sort of tell that. We've been a couple times around. I'll just keep going just a few more. Yeah, it's about ready now, I suppose. And what I've got on the side here is a couple pieces of glass that I've got out of the ice box. And I'll just touch it in some spot there. Well, it's not quite ready to go yet. So, no, nope, not hot enough yet. So. I have to keep on going on the flame until, until I get a crack forming. So let's get her going a little bit more. You notice one spot's a little thicker than others. You can tell by the reflection of the light. You can even use a small little uh, Torch, but they have to be really uh, turned down. Those little propane torches. Let's see if she works now. Yeah, there she goes. I'm just wiping it around. Now you notice it looks like it's cracked all the way around. You can sort of see the crack. It's very rarely able to pull it apart. If you're forced to part, it would come apart. But I like to what I like to do is go back on the flame and go over and while I'm going I push in so it doesn't fall apart on me. I hear a little click sometimes. Didn't hear it yet. Now well, let's see if this will... Now she's about ready to come apart. Now we go. There. Hear a little click. There you go. So, you see, it's, what's nice about it is very, 
very flat, very smooth, and the only thing that needs to maybe be touched up is, is the edges there. A little bit on the sharp side. So let me show you how I how I um, sharpened it or grind the edge down. Okay. What I've got here is a piece of glass. This plain old thick piece of glass, and I've sprinkled this stuff. It's called a silicon carbide. Same same kind of stuff they have on. Now you know, emery cloth and sandpaper, only it's a free thing, free, not stuck to it. Then I take a little bit of water, let's see, maybe there's a little, let's pour a little water in there. How about a life cup, that work. Then I take my glass and go around like so. That's gotten it down a little bit. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, you notice it's all pretty well, pretty well gray in the bottom. And the next thing I do is take a little uh, cloth, a silicon carbide cloth, and just go along the edge. Let's see if I can. Maybe, well, I can. Here's how it looks. All we did was grind down the top a little bit and makes a nice little drinking glass or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, you might ask, uh, what do I do with the tops of these things? Well, let's see here. Um, for instance, say if somebody wanted to take the top and stick two tops together, they can make a, this is a, this is a kaleidoscope I made. And I put uh, mosaics around the outside of it with a mirror assembly inside. And here's my, here's my little, uh, oh, got a fancy name for it. <laughs> but um, it's got all the little gems that you look at. And, and I made that out of the bottle too, as a matter of fact. But that's just one, one way you could use the top. 